I'm just tired of this whole thing. <gasps> Jupiter. Hey, sorry, I'm just sitting in my bed. Yeah, my air mattress is running out of air again. God damn it. <laughs> oh, um, I did see your air. I did see that you have an air mattress. You want to know how that I saw that you have an air mattress? From my TikTok videos, I'm guessing. No, I first learned that you had an air mattress because you sent somebody a naughty photo of yours. God damn it. I thought that girl wouldn't. She said it was Snapchat, right? No, it was on Kick. Oh. Yeah, you have to be careful with who you talk to. I know. I know. Because that girl could say that she was 13 or 14 and now you're in a whole nother mess. I know. That's why I deleted the app before it got me into any more trouble. On Facebook, people are just like, hating on me because of my past and what I did in the past. We need to leave that in the past if we're ever going to move forward. It was a long time ago. I want to put it behind me before anyone else gets in trouble because of me. So when you sent that girl like her, that photo of yours, did you check her age beforehand? She told me she, she was of age, but I'm not trusting her. I had no idea she was going to do that. Yeah, I mean, you have to be careful with who you send pictures to because that's what, how you got in trouble the first time. You 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 knew their age, but you just didn't care. So Listen, probably saw on my Facebook page, I am engaged to a girl named Zena. I did. I saw a picture of her. Yeah, wait. If you're engaged, why did you send a, a naughty picture of yourself to somebody else? She asked for it. I didn't know she was gonna fucking do that. Well, you, you can't trust these other people like that. Can you promise me that you will make sure that you will, uh, you know, can you promise me that you will keep it under wraps for now? Yes, I will try to keep it under wraps. And, uh, I do love Zena, and I'm not going to leave her for another woman. Well, that's good. You shouldn't do that. I do like to have some female friends, you know. I know, but I don't know if female friends include sending nude pictures of yourself, you know? Okay, okay, can we drop that? Now it's making me feel even more agitated. Can we drop it? Sorry, yeah, I'll drop it. Thank you. You probably saw what I posted on my Facebook page, the, uh, Hey, Jupiter here with a message to my supporters. Thank you for sticking by me. And to my haters and some of my potential hitmen wanting my head, I have only one say to, I only have one thing to say. Ahem. Fuck all y'all. Thanks for ruining my image, jerks. I hope you all die in the worst possible ways. And by the way, fuck you. That's how I'm staying in the loop. Bye. When you said you still had feelings for me, I was like, Thanks, but right now, and sent those videos, including what you did with my little sister, mind you, you were digging, you were opening a whole can of worms, and I was upset that you would do something like that behind my back without clarifying if it's okay with me first. And then when you posted me in a negative light, what the hell is that about? I know, Jupiter. We've already had this conversation. I said I was sorry. I know. But I'm just letting you know that I'm still upset. Even though you said you're sorry, I'm still upset with you. If Zena's okay with me being, like, your part-time, like, boyfriend or whatever, I don't mind if Zena is on board with it. Okay, I yeah. I with her. I will check with her next time I talk to her. I'll see if she's okay with me having, like, other girlfriends to talk to and, you know, flirt with once in a while. Because I don't mind flirting with you. And I do want you to know that I am sorry about what I did. And I do want you to know that that bitch, Abby, lied about everything. You, you know she was lying. You do realize that. She was lying to you to make her look like an innocent victim. But I, I appreciate you saying that you're sorry. Yeah, I tried I tried to call you and talk to you about it, but when you 
refused to speak to me and kept on blowing me off, I thought, I thought it was over between us. You know, I thought it was over. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. I was just going through a lot. Yeah, I, you didn't need to keep ignoring my call. But then you blocked me for a while, right? Yeah, it's because I was feeling upset with, about what you did. You know? Yeah, what I get you that. Did was underhanded and I was I felt betrayed so I blocked you for a while so that way I could get my head clear you know clear my head clear my clear my feelings you know yeah and you know I'll, I'll I won't ever do that again some people have been posting my family's criminal records all over fucking social media I'm like I wonder why he's a bad guy my brother Duke isn't a bad guy he's actually a good guy he's actually a good guy but he's just in jail right now, right? And yes, I have forgiven that moron. I've forgiven my brother Shane. I've forgiven him. I've moved on and forget it. You know, I love him. I love my brother Shane. I know that he... Yes, I do understand he fucked up. But at the same time, I love him and I forgive him. What did he What did he ever do? You never told me what he did. I'm going to send you a quick text about it really quick. Okay. I haven't done anything on TikTok in a while because I've just been so tired. I'll read your text after you send it. Put that on TikTok and put my story out there, you know? Make sure everybody knows my pain. Okay. Copy what I sent you, the first message I sent you. Copy that and post it on TikTok, make everybody aware of my story, of my pain. Hey guys, it's me, Linda, and I have a very important message for you guys. So Jupiter, who is who now wants to be known as Shadow Raven, told me to tell you guys what Kia said to you is truth. And Shane did what he said and more. Shane beat me up and tied me up basically made me his plaything. I complied to protect Kia from him. And then he said, put that on TikTok. Put my story out there. Make everyone aware of my pain. I never meant for any of that stuff to happen. I never meant for it to happen. I really didn't. It happened and I didn't know. I didn't remember what I was doing because I was out of my own head. I just want to live my life and be peaceful. I Sorry I never talked to you for a while. I just, I knew you were mad at me. I knew deep down you were mad. And I knew that deep down, I knew that you wanted me to tell you that I loved you and whatnot. But I never said anything because I didn't know if you would actually still care about me. Yeah. You know, it's, it's hard because I have all these people every day on TikTok saying how much they, they don't like you. And, and I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out what I should do. Listen to me for once and mm -hmm. listen, listen to me and listen good. Okay. Don't let the hate talk bother you. I don't let it bother me. The hater is going to hate and I'm still going to live. Because I know in my heart, in my own heart, that I'm going to beat these charges. I'm going to beat them. I'm going to beat the odds. Because I have people like you, like Zaina, and a bunch of other people who support me still. I still have you guys on my side. And I know in my heart that I'm going to beat these charges. And once I beat these charges, I'm going to make sure that I find a way for you to come visit me. So I can give you a hug, maybe kiss you and tell you that I still care about you, you know? Yeah, I would love that. <laughs> and who knows, maybe explore some sex, maybe? Who knows? <laughs> but that one video that you said of when you said those bad things about me, I was actually laughing deep down. Because of everything you said, I was laughing because I thought it was hilarious. 
because you literally told the haters to fuck off. <laughs> I was laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm pretty funny, aren't I? Yeah, you are. And to be honest, you're pretty sexy too. I'm not mad at you anymore. I'm not mad. I, I only needed some time to like cool down and get my, get myself straight first. Thank you. I but, appreciate that. Yeah, but hey, I'm gonna tell you this. Don't let the haters get to you. And if you still love me, tell everyone on TikTok that. Tell everyone that you still love me and that you want a relationship to flourish. And tell the haters to basically kiss my shiny white ass. <laughs> That's what I said. Kiss yeah. my shiny white ass, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. And, uh, who knows? Maybe I, maybe I was wrong about you. You know, maybe I was wrong. I, I do get, I do get wrong. I do get it wrong once in a while, you know? What were you wrong about? I thought you were just some conceited bitch at first. But then once you and I kind of decided to get to know each other and kind of give each other some, you know, energy, I feel like I can trust you finally and trust you again. And I want you to know that I still love you. No matter what happens, I will always love you. Oh my gosh, that's one of my favorite Whitney Houston songs. And I, yeah. I will yeah, I, uh, always. And that's not Whitney Houston. It's uh, Celine Dion. You're thinking of. It's I'm pretty Celine sure it's Dion. Whitney Houston. It was. It was sang by Whitney Houston at first, but Celine Dion did it better. No, I thought it was Dolly Parton. No, it's Celine Dion. Okay. Okay. Impressive. We'll oh, go with that. But you won't have a Jedi yet. Yeah, if only we had a master of the Jedi of the council here. He could make, he would make me a Jedi. Listen here, you little shit. I found that on, on freaking Facebook. Well, we can have a day at the library. Yeah. Just promise me if we do end up having sex, you will keep it to yourself. Don't go posting it all over social media. Yeah. I cannot. I will not face the consequences from freaking Zayna about it. I will not face her about it. Well, w would you keep it a secret from her if we did? Yes. <laughs> yeah, if you show up at my on my doorstep naked, though, I would definitely pull you into my house and be like, do me right now. <laughs> yeah. Just as long as you promise that if we do fuck, you promise that you'll be gentle with me. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I saw it was small. I don't want to break it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Who was that? Why were you mmm and aahing? Now he goes, ooh, ah, mmm. All I want for Christmas is you. If you play that backwards, you will hear the devil. A cat. Even worse, if you play it forward, you will hear Mariah Carey. Oh my gosh, I love her. I can do her whistle notes, right? Size matters not. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, Barry wants to say hi. I can hear his thoughts in my own head. What's he saying? He's pretty mad at me about breaking your heart earlier this year. He's still mad at me. Yeah, I've been trying to get him to calm down about that. I mean, it's his choice to stay mad. Come to the dark side, we have cookies. I want cookies. <laughs> Jupiter, <laughs> let's wait. Stop looking at your memes. I want to talk to you right now. I'm just in the mood right now. <laughs> Are you? Nah, no, 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 I'm not even gonna. I already know that you get horny pretty easily. You're a girl. It happens. I just know you're a woman. 
And I did. And I do have sisters. And you know how girls can be when they talk to the man they love. If you've noticed, you can hear my thoughts from time to time. Because I've been communicating with you telepathically since we started talking again. You've been hearing my thoughts as I've been sending shit to you. How do you know what I've been hearing? Let's just say I hear your thoughts sometimes and it scares me because you, you cross over to the dark side sometimes. You go BDSM kind of dark and I'm like, and it makes me blush. Sometimes I see the pictures that you send me in your own mind of what you want me to do to you and it just makes me blush. I'm blushing right now looking at one of them. I'm blushing right now. So I'm sending you pictures telepathically of what I want you to do to me? Yes, and it makes me blush. Like what? What What are the pictures? Let's just say you don't want to know. But if they're my thoughts, then I should already know. I know. That's why I'm saying you don't want to know unless you know they're your thoughts. Well, can you send me a picture telepathically right now? I just did. <laughs> Whoa, I just got it. <laughs> There's my photo. I sent you a photo of what I'm look what I'm doing right now. I sent you a photo of the way I'm laying on my bed covered in a blanket. I just sent you a photo of me just relaxing on my bed. Well, I'm glad you finally got rid of that dirty brown mattress you had. You have to keep bringing that up. <laughs> I'm sorry, it traumatized me. Do you have to bring that up every time we talk? Do you well, have to bring it up? Yeah. I thought we left that in the past. Okay, fine. I'll leave it in the past. Mariah, you little... Mariah just at you. Mariah Carey? I thought she was on tour. No, my daughter, Mariah. She just cussed at you. She called you a bitch. Language, Missy. Wait, your daughter? I didn't know you had a daughter. Make me. I have multiple kids, remember? Oh, yeah, from Shira Tora. She prefers Star. Star. Oh, she changed her name. Uh, her full name is Shira Tora Star Sparkle, but she prefers the name Star. You watch your mouth, Missy. Daddy, what are you. Ow! You deserve that. Is Mariah beating you up? No, I spanked her. Give her a good paddle. You spank your paddle. kids? When they step out of line, I have to put them back in line. Why don't you put so, me back in line? <laughs> I just saw the thought transference of what you said that when you said that. And it was a it was a picture of me whipping you. Whipping your bare bottom in front of everybody on TikTok. I just saw that and my brain just went, uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I have to, you deserve that one, little one. You ever disrespect someone I care about again, or even disrespect your mom, I will paddle your little flank. Understand? Good. Jesus Christ. Mariah, well, Mariah's an angsty little baby right now. She may be 14, but damn, she acts like a fucking 18-year-old. She's 14. Yeah, she's 14, but acts like an 18-year-old. That's why she's angsty. She's an angsty. I'm sure he enjoyed that spanking he just gave her. Watch your mouth before I paddle your behind again. Do not make me have to paddle you, little missy. Mariah, I swear. You call Linda a bitch again. I fucking dare you, child. I dare you. Wait, but Jupiter, I'm sending you a telepathic image. What do you have to explain what I it is? Saying I can't say it out loud when my staff's here. Just use special words. Uh, let's just say it's me giving you the uh, <clears throat> the business. 
the so, business. You know. You know. Think about it for a sec. Think about it. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Exactly. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry if I did act a little arrogant to you last time. It was just that I was so distraught about what you did that it just drove my mind to a point where I was. So it's my fault. Basically, kill you. That I. Ex I wanted to rip you to shreds. Oh. Okay. I really did. I wanted to kill you. You wanted Everything. to. You wanted to off me. Exactly. I wanted to off you because of what you did. But then when you showed up on TikTok a few mo a few years later, you sent me a message on TikTok saying, Corbin, please just talk to me. I I needed some time to cool, you know, to cool down. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad you don't want to um, off me anymore. If I wanted you dead, you would already be dead. <laughs> That's so funny. If I wanted you dead, you would be dead. Wait, if if I live in Utah, how, how would you have done that? There's this thing called hiring a hitman. You would have hired a hitman to take me out? Exactly. With what money? Um, let's just say I would hire a professional. You'd hire a professional to take me out. Exactly. Professionals are clean, seamless. Don't leave any evidence. With what money? What what money would you would you hire them with? Girl, I have SSI benefits. Meaning, meaning, I get paid forty each week, which means I would save up a lifetime of money. And then hire a hitman to kill you and spend the money through a wired account. Oh, so you've thought this through already. Exactly. Trust me, if I wanted you dead, you would be dead and no one would care what happened to your body at this point. But people who say, oh, you're an asshole, you're a fucking pedophile. Dude, I fucking live in Idaho. I've lived in Idaho my whole life, which means I know where to hide a body. There are places I can hide a body, and no one would even think to look there. There are places out here in Idaho that I can hide a body. It's a small town called Nulva. Ever heard of it? I could just dump a body out in the forest or bury a body out in the forest and no one would ever find it. I've lived here my whole life. I'm, I'm an Idaho native, meaning I know all the places to dump a body, <laughs> so to speak. So, uh, how things been with you, though? Enough about me. What about you? Bye. Bye. You overweight walrus. <laughs> that really scared me, honestly. Like, I don't know if you guys could see, but I was trying not to cry when he said that he would he would hire a, a hitman to hurt me you know i appreciate all of you guys I, I really do i really really love each and every one of you and now i am scared because if i do put the documentary out I'm scared that he's, he would actually try and hurt me. 
you know, I try to make light out of the dark. That's what I normally do. That's what I did when I was living with my uncle when I was growing up. But all in all, this is not something that I want to be doing. I don't want to be talking to Jupiter. I just feel a lot of pressure. I do, I feel a lot of pressure because I know a lot of these people that are following me don't care. They only just wanna see what Jupiter is doing, what Jupiter's up to. And that makes me really sad sometimes. You know, I, a few months ago I was like, I should have a meet and greet, but now I'm so glad I, I, I never had a meet and greet because I'm scared someone's gonna try to hurt me. Like, wow, this is really what Princess Diana went through. I'm just kidding. See guys, I, I have, I, I, I like, I can't deal with my negative emotions like that. But wow, he said that there's places in Melba, Idaho where he could hide a body and nobody would ever find it. Why am I still talking to him? Well, when I got on the call, I thought that I would get enough evidence that I could include in the documentary I'm making. But now I'm scared if I put out the documentary He would hurt me. And no, I am not receiving any telepathic pictures from him. I'm like kind of shaking right now. I don't know if you can see, but like, I like shaking. Maybe because it's cold or maybe because I just had my life threatened. Who knows if I'll ever put the documentary up, but if I don't, people on TikTok will hate me forever. So either do I want to die or be um, hated on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which one I would choose. Well, if I, I don't know. If I died, I wouldn't be hated on. I'm not a fictional character. Someone just said that. I'm literally IRL. This is nonfiction. People, sometimes I get comments that are like, everything that's happening with Jupiter is staged. I'm like, are you dumb? Are you dumb? I am not, I am not that good of an actress to sit here and make all this up. Like, what? Maybe I'll just put the teaser trailer in my Discord. I just emailed Trisha Paytas today for the first time. I told her, Trisha, I would love to be on your podcast. Um, I've had a lot of people reach out to me wanting to be on, or wanting me to be on their podcast, but I've told them no. But I was like, Trisha, if you wanted me on your podcast, I would totally go and talk about this whole thing. That's my dream. I would love to go on Trisha Paytas' podcast and talk about this whole thing. Like, I would love that. I would, I really would. I, I see comments that are like, you're, you're dragging this, you're dragging this. I'm like, I kind of have to drag this if I want him to be held accountable for his actions. I, I have to. Or someone has to but it's getting to the point where he said that he was planning to off me.